Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sign It Television. Now, some of you may remember a couple of weeks ago, or in this case, maybe a couple of months ago, Chris and Tanya were over at another side of the studio taking a look at a Code 3 Reflex Mini light bar. And part of the discussion we were all having, because I was there too, was about the fact that Chris might take the opportunity to take it apart. Well, you know, Chris and a screwdriver, he can't resist the opportunity. So let's take a look at Chris taking apart a Code 3 Reflex Mini light bar. Take it away. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining me here on SirenNet Television for a inside look at Code 3's Reflex Mini LED light bar. And in addition to a inside look showing you what's going on underneath the dome, I'm also going to show you the process that you would partially use when installing this on your vehicle for a permanent mount application. We also have it available in a vacuum magnet suction form. So for folks that just want to throw it on, plug it in and go, you can select that version. But for folks that are going to be outfitting vehicles, permanent mounting this, something that you will do as part of that will be removing the dome and dropping included mounting hardware down and through to fix it onto your flat surface. On the top of the reflex, four Phillips head mounting screws. Those will be removed. Also on the screws, Code 3 has included a small black gasket. And again, because they are going through pre-punched holes through the molded dome and into screw retainer post inside, the gasket helps to keep this nice and sealed up. So when it comes to adding the screws back in, make sure that the gaskets are there intact and back in place in the holes. So with the screws out of the way, the polycarbonate dome can be lifted free of the basin. A one piece mold incorporating non-optic sections over the front and rear torus modules and then over the curved reflector assemblies on the sides to enhance the output inside optics have been added to even the dispersion, creating a nice 360 degree high intensity output. An aluminum top component is also part of the reflex mini bar. So this is designed to be removed and it is a freestanding piece inside the bar. Part of the reason for that is protecting the circuitry inside from UV rays overhead. Code 3 has done a wonderful job in creating the circuitry for the Reflex Mini Bar. As you can see, a centralized I.O. board, multi-pin wiring harnesses going to the Taurus modules and the special curved reflector modules, quick disconnect harness, all about the fixtures, so if you need to rearrange colors or need to have any servicing done on the bar, quite easy to open it up, make disconnects, change out equipment as needed. Even a quick disconnect for the main pigtail wiring input. Inside the bar, you'll see a variety of holes that are incorporated into the black polycarbonate base. And again, for the permanent mount, we are going to utilize the furthest holes on the mini bar. So two here and two down at the bottom. Mounting hardware included with the reflex will go into the appropriate nut designed holes. So drop that into place. It'll lock in, so that way you don't have it spinning or you don't need to get an extra socket down and on here. Also included with the mini bar to help seat it onto the flat roof surface is a foam gasket. So this helps create a barrier between the bottom of the mini bar and the painted surface. So with the foam gasket, you will want to do one of two things. First off, align it with the wiring harness and go ahead, pull the pigtails through.
mounting bolt. Push through the hole. So on the basin bolt, this will go through the vehicle's surface, so a flat mount or the vehicle's roof. You can use the base as a template to mark and drill the holes that these will need to go through. So with this pushed through the basin, lock washer will go on. And from there, take the nut onto the bolt and then go ahead, cinch it down through the mounting surface. So same process across the rest of the mini bar. And as you're doing this, just keep in mind that the foam piece and the holes relate to the holes that the bolts are going through. So now that the mounting hardware has been fashioned through the mini bar, foam gasket applied, wiring harness routed through the gasketing as well, we can take the mini bar, flip it back over. The aluminum top plate, these holes here will actually align with the posts within the dome. So we can take this, align it into the mini bar, and you can actually see through the holes in the aluminum, the inner posts that the screws tighten into. So realign the dome with the lipping on the polycarbonate black basin, press it down, and original screws back in place. We'll go ahead now, cinch the screws back in. And there you have it. Look at the starting process for Code 3's Reflex Mini Bar in the permanent mount styling. So from here, once it's on the roof of the vehicle, go ahead, extend your wiring as needed, and tie it into an appropriate on-off switch or to your vehicle's main siren and lighting control system. And again, with the pigtail, you have a lead, ground, wire for flash pattern adjustment, and a wire for synchronization. So if you are going to be using multiple mini bars on the vehicle, connect the communications wire together for a uniform flashing. And again, two different technologies used by Code 3 inside torus modules and curved reflector modules in the corners with optics inside the dome, creating the wonderful punch that you see here. And again, depending on the coloration that you need for your vehicle, go ahead and select from the dropdown on the website. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me here on SirenNet Television for a look at the insides of Code 3's Reflex Mini Bar and also the process for getting the permanent mounting hardware started on your application. Back to you, Stuart. There you have it. Chris, a screwdriver, and the Code 3 Reflex Mini Light Bar. Interesting product available here on the website. I'm Stuart. You've been watching Sonic Television. Go ahead and check it out.